Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Clark and I'm going to show you how to use these long division Google Sheets activities. First, we'll talk about how the technology works and then we'll actually solve one. So we'll go through the standard algorithm. When you open it up, it'll look something like this. You might actually have double digit divisors here. Um, you might have a bunch of tabs at the bottom. And if you do, just click on each tab to go to the different questions or you might just have one single file and that's fine too. So first of all, if it's not looking nice like this, if it's all zoomed in, that's totally normal. You're just gonna come up to here, the percentage and adjust it. So when I opened it up on my computer, it looked like this, which is kind of an annoying way to work. So you just come up here and set it to a different percentage. If you're on an iPad, you're gonna take two fingers and you're going to push those two fingers towards each other on the screen to zoom in, push them away to zoom out. Now let's talk about how it actually works. So we have these boxes here that we're going to be filling in. And to answer a question, you're going to click on the box and type a number. If you're on an iPad, you're gonna do a double click to get that keyboard to open up. So how many fours fit into five? We'd put a one there. Nothing actually happens yet. You have to click away, click literally anywhere else to get that feedback. It turned a bright purple, so that means it's correct. If it turns a bright color, it's correct. If it's incorrect, it'll turn gray. And then you can just click on that box and hit delete, or you can click undo and try again. So let's actually go through and solve one now. I'm using these steps, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. It's okay if you have a different way, but these will match the colors. So we have the purple, the red slash pink, the green and the blue. And then these arrows will remind you which digits to bring down. These ones do not have remainders. As you can see, you might have other questions that do have remainders. And if you do, there will be a little remainder box. Let's see if we can find one there. If it has a remainder, there'll be a little box up there that you'll also type in that tiny little box there. All right, so our first step is divide. So we're dividing four into five. So how many fours fit into five? And the answer is one. Remember to click away and there's your feedback. Next step is to multiply one times four and it goes in that red box because that's the color for multiply four next we subtract and you can see the green there so this is green and this is green to match this step five minus four one and now we'll do the blue which is bring down so we have the arrow here and you're bringing down the seven now a lot of times i always skip down to this red and i'm like wait what's going on this is the part where we have to remember go back to the purple so we go back up to here how many fours fit into 17 four now we multiply four times four is 16 let's put in a wrong answer so you can see that it turned gray switch it to a six and now we're good we have our subtraction green here 17 minus 16 equals one blue to bring down the two there we go now we're going to go back up to the top and divide again with that purple so we're doing 12 divided by four or how many fours fit into 12 three and now we'll multiply three times four which is 12 and we'll subtract and we get a zero like I mentioned, these ones don't have remainders, at least this one doesn't. That's why you're left with zero, but you still want to do that final step because as you get along to more challenging questions, there will be a remainder, which means at the very end, there will be something left over and you can take that number and just type it in as your remainder. So that's how we're doing the standard algorithm. I hope this helps you get started. If you want to stick around, I'll do one more question. But if you're feeling confident with the tech, you can just jump in and go ahead and try it on your own. So let's do our next one. Dividing first, how many threes fit into eight? Two. What's our next step? Multiply. Two times three is six. Subtract eight minus six. 
bring down the four. Great, now remember we're not going to the red yet. We have to do the purple first. We come up to the top here. How many threes fit into 24? Eight. Then we multiply eight times three is 24. Subtract, that's a zero. And now we bring down that nine. How many threes fit into nine or what's nine divided by three? Three. Now we multiply three times three is nine. And then finally at the end, you're going to subtract one final time and we get zero. So that's how we use these self-checking. I hope that they help you as you're going through. Remember, it's completely normal to skip a step or forget to go back up and divide. And this is just to help give you that little nudge so that you can be independent and really um, enjoy practicing this because the more you practice it, the better and the easier it's going to get for you and it's really going to pay off.